A feast for wombat, red especially for grace. A feast for wombat, to grace, love mum. A feast for wombat, written by Sally Morgan and illustrated by Tanya Ertzinger. Every day, Wombat scratched, snuffled along his underground tunnels and slept. Mostly, he slept. As the days passed, Wombat grew lonely, but it wasn't until he needed a dust bath that he decided to go out into the world. Outside, his friends, Goanna, Magpie and Dingo were having a wonderful time. It's because they're special, thought Wombat, but I'm not special at all. You're out of your burrow at last, Wombat, cried Goanna. I'm so excited to see you. I will race up this tree. Goanna reached the highest branches in seconds. See, Goanna yelled. I'm the fastest climber around. Yes, you are, Goanna, agreed Wombat. You run like the wind. Thank you, Wombat. You make me feel like a champion. Why don't I teach you to be a fast runner? Wombat looked at Goanna's springy hind legs, then down at his short stubby ones. Could I run as fast as Goanna? First, kick up the dirt, Goanna said. Then put your head down and barrel forward. Wombat kicked up some dirt. He put his head down and ran right into a bush. Ouch! I'll never be able to run as quickly as Goanna, thought Wombat. Magpie looked down from her nest. I haven't seen you in ages, Wombat, she cried. I'm so happy to see you and I'll sing a morning song. Magpie warbled beautifully. See, Magpie said, I'm the best singer around. Indeed you are, Magpie, said Wombat. You sing like a beautiful bubbling stream. Thank you, Wombat. You make me feel like a star. Magpie laughed. Why don't I teach you to be a singer, Wombat? Wombat looked at Magpie's beak. Then he scratched his jaw. Could I sing like magpie? Take a deep breath, magpie said. Push the air out and the music will come too. Wombat opened his jaws. He took a deep breath. He pushed the air out. <sighs> I'll never be able to sing as perfectly as magpie, thought Wombat. Wombat waddled off for a drink. Wombat, Dingo said. Where have you been? I'm so thrilled to see you. I want to dance. Dingo pranced from rock to rock in the waterhole. See, said Dingo, I'm the cleverest dancer around. Wombat nodded. It's true, Dingo. You dance like the clouds. Thank you, Wombat. You make me feel graceful. Why don't I teach you to dance, Wombat? Dingo howled. Wombat saw Dingo had four legs. He had four legs too. Could I learn to dance like Dingo? Jump on that rock, Dingo said. Swing one leg and wiggle a paw. Wombat jumped on the rock, he swung one leg, he wiggled a paw. Splash! I'll never be able to dance as delightfully as Dingo, thought Wombat. Wombats can't dance, Dingo said. Or sing, Magpie agreed. Or climb trees, said Goanna. I should have stayed inside my burrow, sighed Wombat. But wombats are strong, said Dingo. They 
dig fantastic tunnels, Magpie added. They're good swimmers, said Goanna. But Wombat was already returning to his burrow. Goanna, Magpie and Dingo raced after him. Don't hide in your burrow, cried Goanna. We've missed you, sang Magpie. You're our special friend, howled Dingo. Wombat stared in surprise at the other animals. Am I special after all? We have a surprise for you, Wombat, said Dingo. Wait here, said Goanna. No picking, said Magpie. Wombat waited in the sunlight. When everything was ready, his friends shouted, Surprise, Wombat! A feast! Wombat gasped. Just for me? Just for you, they all said, because you are our very special friend. A Feast for Wombat by Sally Morgan, illustrated by Tanya Ertzigen.